here we are for the final part, part three of Pretzel. We have Pretzel with us today. Greta is MIA. I think she's hiding from Rufus. But Pretzel's been getting criticized a little bit. People are saying he's a pushover, that Greta's using him. So let's find out if that's true. Some weeks had passed and Greta hadn't even spoken to Pretzel. One day while she was playing with her green ball, it bounced away. Greta tried to catch it and boops, they both landed in a hole. I had a feeling that something bad was going to happen. Greta tried to get out of the hole, but she couldn't. It was much too deep. She was terribly scared. If nobody came to save her, she might never, never. Look at her, she's sobbing. Kind of feels sorry for her now. Just then, Pretzel's face appeared over the edge of the hole. See, Pretzel, you are a good guy. I don't care what they say about you. I'll get you out of there, he shouted. He had watched Greta all the time. And now had rushed to help her. How good that Pretzel was so long. This reminds me of another book called The Halloweener. Everybody was making fun of him for being so long and he actually ended up saving some characters in that book too. I believe you saved my life. You are wonderful, said Greta with a sigh. Oh. Will you marry me now? asked Pretzel. I will, said Greta, but not for your length. So they kissed each other. Oh, how sweet. Maybe she really liked him the whole time and she was just kinda, didn't really know how to show it. And there you go, there's your question that you had. Can dogs really get married? Apparently, in this book, they can. And one morning in May, five little dachshunds were born. Oh, it's like a little 360. The beginning is a wraparound. The ending is an actual wraparound of the beginning. I like that. So what do you think the theme of the story is? <laughs>